mapping the controller with the Remix Live app by Nix Fives. We're using the Numar DJ to go to touch. Let's get started. So this is what you're going to see when you first open the app. Now let's plug in the controller and see what happens. So the controller is plugged in, but it doesn't seem like any of the buttons or knobs are doing anything with the app. So let's go to our settings and see how we can adjust this. So we're going to go over here to the top right, press settings, where it says MIDI devices. If you don't have this scan for MIDI device on, uh, you should tip it on so it'll find your controller. Press MIDI device. And now it shows Newmark DJ to go to touch. And then it says mapping. So that's what we're going to go to. So now we have some built-in mapping. Let's see if we could just use these if they're good enough. These are pre-mapping for like the launch pad controllers and those type of button box controllers. And so none of these are going to work if you just plug in a regular DJ controller like this Newmark one. So we're going to have to do it ourselves. And then we're going to press create new. All right, let's start with the grid so we can start making loops. So I'm going to go down here to grids. Focus grid would be the best. We got that one. Pad two. We got this. I'm going to do this one. I'm just going to go in order from one to eight. So now let's close it and see what we got. So that's going to control the first panel. And it's going to control the last, the last box. So I have it set now that all of these buttons are going to control uh, one of these pads from left to right, and it's gonna be the bottom. So we have all these pads. Keep in mind, if you have a controller with more of these pads, you will be able to do more. So I have it on cues. So let's see if I change pad mode to auto. So now if I want the first one to be the second pad from the bottom, then I just could just go in order. It's the same thing, but now I am, I went, I went up. So instead of the bottom row, it's gonna be the second to bottom row for all of these. So we could set like that. And then if we want to do the first one, the last one, I can go back to cues and there we go. I'm going to use all of these. There's four different mo pad modes. So I'm going to go up really easy to pick which one you want to work. You just have, have it on mapping and you just press the button. So I'm going to click and then that's two. So now let's see what we got. So I could do that one. And then I could switch over to the different pad mode, get that one, switch over, get that one, boom. So now instead of pressing the boxes on the screen, I can use my controller and I could get all the way up to the fourth row, all the way over to the right. Like I said before, if you have more a controller that has more pads and more pad modes, then you could get this all of these boxes mapped and then you could start DJing with your new mark or, or any DJ controller if you set it up like this. So now I have basically all the pads. Let's see what else we can do. Master is gonna be like that. So now it controls the master. I got my pads. With any controller that you have, if you spend the time, you can map it out. And it's really cool, it's really fun. It's much more fun than doing it with your hands on the iPad. And then also you could link with Ableton Link to DJ Pro AI and you can be DJing with DJ Pro AI and then use this and have it all sync together. Watch this video over here where I show you how to map this controller with DJ Pro AI so you can DJ with it. Thanks for watching.